excited because we just checked into the Versace mansion. We already saw the room, but I wanna show you the details on it. This is already amazing. So this is the upper balcony, which is a beautiful place. And um, it has the open courtyard, like often they had back in the day when there was no air conditioning. Um, so through our doorway, we've got the villa suite and we've got the empire suite. And what we were told is that the villa suite is Versace's room. And we're staying in the Empire suite, which was always reserved for his lover. So let's go check this out. I can't believe we got these rooms. So coming in here, this is a lounge area. And again, when you come in, over there is the villa suite. And over here is our room, the Empire Suite. But you can see this is a common lounging area between the rooms. Let's go check out our room, the Empire Suite. So I just really want to show you the details in this room. First of all, look up. Like, is that an amazing fresco on the ceiling? Amazing painting and detail down the ceiling. The details in this room are incredible. And then look at the floors. These are all hand inlaid floors in this pattern that gives it like a three-dimensional look and then come in so now we've got um, paintings for the room just like there were paintings out there we've got the details on these columns and the details on the walls then when you're in the room there's some amazing things first of all all the water and coffee is complimentary there's a refrigerator and I'm now sorry. turn around and let's look at the bedroom uh, palm leaves on the ceiling the we have a door here that goes out to a balcony um, and then obviously the side tables and this elaborate headboard here which is honestly um, just beautiful and then now and the room is huge we were actually given a huge suite so come in here Again, we've got the columns, we've got the granite countertops, we've got gold fixtures. Look at the lights next to these, um, to the sinks um, with uh, marble posts up here that are clearly original. Um, and then look at this beautiful chandelier. Like that is just incredible. And it matches the painting on the top of the ceiling there. And then we've got the lions, which are um, some of the hallmarks of Versace himself was the lion, and he has it on a lot of his clothing. So we've got the lions on the walls on either side, and then the lion up above there. In here, we've got the toilet and the bidet. So we have the toilet, the water closet with the toilet and the bidet. And then we have closets with bathrobes, and then a very large all marble, um, looks to be original shower head. Again, with gold fixtures, so this is our luxurious room at the former Versace mansion, and the details are incredible. Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights, Actually, we're having our complimentary breakfast at the Versace Mansion. Everything's included. Lattes, orange juice, and even grilled steak and eggs if you want it, so. And a mimosa. And a mimosa. You need a mimosa. Let me figure out where the road goes. So here we are on the top floor, and this is the same floor our room is on. Now we are standing in the southeast corner, and you can see all the medallions around this room. This was the room that when the property was originally built, Alden Freeman actually lived in. So he built a 24 apartment complex, which is the property we're showing you now. And this was his original room, which would have had the ocean view out of the front. I believe that this original piece of art was put here by Alden Freeman, who was the actual builder of this original 24 apartment building. But what I love is what it says, I am a man no men are foreigners to me. Of one blood are all nations. That is a great message for everybody. So one of Alton Freeman's heroes was actually Christopher Columbus. And he, Alton went down to the Dominican Republic and actually saw the house that was built by Christopher Columbus's son, Diego. And, he, and that house was called the Alcazar de Cologne. 
And he loved that house so much that he actually built this house with that house in mind. As a reference, he built this house. He was so inspired by the house that he decided to build his own home in Miami Beach as an homage to that house. And he brought back two bricks from the house. So this plaque, again, I think is from the original house that Alden Freeman built. And I think it's a plaque, and by the dates from 1869 to 1889, might have actually been possibly his grandfather or his uncle, only 20 years. This is a replica of what the wreath that was on his tomb. We got a great deal. Yeah, we got a great deal. So if you want a great deal, then call us and we'll help you find the best place for the best price for your vacation. Actually, you pick when to go and we'll help tell you where to go. Life is a winding road. Telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know We have to show it to you again. We've actually already been in it, but there's so many details. Let me show you all of it. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know On this table and the drawer, these knobs, I believe it's original. I don't know original what period. Somebody can write in the comments below and let me know. That would be great. And look at, look at the gradient and the colors, how it goes from the light to the super dark. Like just the attention to detail here is truly incredible. And they all match. Well, it is Versace. It is Versace. <laughs> And they're all the same. So if these were open, I mean, look at the details on these things. And also the doors going to the bathroom. We didn't talk about those, I should. So these... Well, there's so much. There is so much. Look at these. So again, the light to the dark, that's over there, uh, matches these. And these are beautiful. And then when you come in here, look at the details on the lions on the walls. And this is all painted. This all, it's all been painted on these things and the details. It's really incredible. And on the walls too, look at that. Yeah, look at these. Um, czars maybe? Kings? Yeah, they're, again, in the comments, if you know where these hats are, I would think maybe they're Russian, Orthodox maybe something, um, but would love to know. Now this is actually a um, put on. This was actually put on. The wall was all painted. Oh, and there's even some, look, old fashioned high tech. <laughs> It's a it's a um, stereo system oh, built in, like old fashioned stereo system, that's like funny. way back in the '80s and '90s. That was probably really high tech. Okay, that's very cool. And it's the same style, the same type of pictures all the way around. Yep. The circular room. This is the round room. The round room. <laughs> this is the round room.
I bet you the bell has some kind of significance. Oh yeah, pretty cool. Might have been how they told people to come to dinner. Maybe. More stained glass. Thirty million in renovations. That's where you bought it for two point five, I believe. The original plaque is one of the four in the chapel of the U.S. Academy at West Point, New York. Later removed by order of the art-loving offices of your government. Even compared to Venice. Yes, even compared to Venice. And Venice was very romantic. Venice was very romantic. Venice that was, was amazing. Nice. Just the atmosphere and the location and the romantic It's the ambiance you can't beat. Even if the food is just okay, the ambiance is so totally over the top awesome. amazing. Yeah, hard to beat this place. I We've been to a lot of places and I'm not sure that there's anything that really is this far over the top. This beautiful. So if anybody has something that beats this. Oh, put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Because we would love to see it. I would and love we'll to see something better than this. Yep. And we'll go there next. <laughs> and we'll go there next. We promise. That'd be great. Where is it? And we will go. Absolutely. We spent a lot of time and our energy in order to be able to have this. But just to get a little philosophical, is you know we decided a long time ago that we wanted to be able to travel for a living that's right that's been a goal for 20 years 20 years yeah and so now we're actually able to travel for a living and see these amazing places and live this life that we wanted to do for some time and i'm excited to see where this goes yeah I am too. we're just really just starting and I'm really excited to see where it really goes. I mean, we've done a lot of travel and we've been to a lot of places, but now it's kind of more... Well, we've never videoed it. So we've, That's right. we've been to Europe all over the place. We've been to England, by the way. I love England. Um, we've been to Venice. We've been to all these places and we haven't filmed it. So, you know, we're coming from a place where we've experienced a lot of these things and now we want to share them. And you guys know when you book places that it can sometimes take weeks to book the right place, to find the right property and stuff. But I've got that narrowed down now, and I can actually do it really quickly. I can look at pictures and understand what the pictures are and what they're offering. And so well, I believe we can help people to to chop that down and be confident that they're booking the right place. Right. So they're getting the vacation they want. And it doesn't always mean spending more money. We recently stayed in St. Augustine and we only paid $129 a night. And we loved the place, absolutely loved the place. So, you know, it's just knowing how to book. Oh, that's a good way to look at it. That's a good way to look knowing at it. Knowing how to book. Yep. So, here's, when you know how to book a place, then you can stay at the Versace Mansion like we did at a crazy, amazing deal because we both would have paid more for this experience. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And if you stay here, you get preferential treatment on your tables. Just tell me. Like, we know that a couple of the people sitting around us are actually staying here at the hotel also. That's right. Whereas other people that are just having reservations for this, they're getting this 